it's Janet back with video number six on our remarkable, remarkably created day of holiday crafting. And what we're going to look at is mini banners. Again, something that you can use for that little vignette um, on a sideboard, on a dining table, a hutch, something like that. Maybe at work you've got like a reception desk and you want just a little banner there instead of hooking something to a big wall. Again, many of you are living in smaller quarters or even on the road in RVs and things like that. So mini banners are great for something like that. In addition, mini banners can also be used, for example, on kids lockers and just across the door or something like that. So let's go ahead and let's turn this camera around and let's give you some ideas of what I'm talking about when I say a mini banner. So it's not something that's going to be really, really long that's going to be like on a photo backdrop. It's literally going to be something that just goes right across a wreath. Or if you hang tight for a second, I'll show you what I use to display them. So for me, usually a mini banner is not much bigger than um, like a card front. So four and a half by five and a half. Of course, you can make them a little bit bigger, a little smaller. You'll see two slightly bigger in just a minute. And how many panels you put on it is going to be up to you. But usually, again, even on a door size wreath, three is going to be perfect for going across a wreath. And then if you're putting it like at the back of a buffet table, you've got that buffet all set up and you're putting it behind the foods and things like that. Again, you just want that pop, something that's going to draw your eye to just a certain piece. And you could put multiple small banners then that way around it. So in this case, I've used our piece set and then um, greetings that I thought tied into our nativity set. I'll give you a sweet little story here real quick that has nothing to do with mini banners, but has everything to do with the nativity. Here in our house, we've had a nativity up year round for probably 25 plus years, with the exception of the few months that we had a rental between homes. And the reason was um, when Greg was little, when he was um, preschool, kindergarten age, after Christmas, as you always do, you're putting all the decorations away. And I was putting the nativity away and he saw what I was doing and he asked me why. And I said, well, we're just putting it away. And he said, but doesn't Jesus live in our heart all year? I mean, out of the mouths of babes, right? So sweet. And I went, oh my gosh. And from that moment on, we've had a nativity out year round because Jesus does live year round, right? And so no more packing him away at our house. So we've got this little nativity banner um, getting ready to be hung up. And I chose colors of blue and silver because it kind of also ties into the blues that are part of my Bayou Crab look that we have going on. This is the one that you saw in a post the other day. And I'll lay it down this way. And then you'll also be able to see here in a second the little holders that I use. So these ones are actually a lot smaller. If you want to kind of compare them side by side, they're almost like half of a card front. And you can just use different elements and different papers. I love the rectangular dies. They give that little stitched piece and I don't have to worry about cutting them all just right, just being able to cut them out. But of course you can always just cut rectangles. You can use ovals as well. There's really not a whole lot of rules here, guys. I'm just trying to give you some inspiration. These are tied to what's called a card holder. This is designed to hold place cards or to actually even hold greeting cards or even price tags. If you just wanna go out online and Google um, card, greeting card holders, place card holders, tabletop place card holders, you're gonna find a lot of wonderful things. Um, these were actually repurposed from my daughter's wedding. It's what we used for the table numbers um, at their wedding. So, you know, trying to trying to make sure that we were sustainable when we had different things that we were using. So that's one way that I like is to use these card holders and then to string it just like that. Here's a fun idea for those of you that want to give the members in your office treats, have grandkids that come over to visit. Again, how many you put on this little mini banner is going to be up to you. These are Sour Patch Kids candy canes. So if you've got grandkids that love sweets or you're a parent that has kids that love sweets, um, you can go ahead and create a fun little banner of candy canes and they can just take one as allowed by you. Of course, also if you want to just do treats, something like this would be fun in the break room in your office um, to share with your coworkers, in the teacher's lounge, 
there's actually some nice gourmet candy canes out there that might be more appropriate and appreciated by the teachers, although I'm a huge Sour Patch fan. So, and I just love the vibrant colors of these. To create this one, this is where I have a little tip for you. I simply just found my smallest circle. You either wanna find a really small circle punch or small circle die. And you wanna do two of them because you want your candy cane to go under and then come up through the opening. To do this little V, if you happen to have a square die, you're just gonna lay it just like that and you're gonna be able to do the V. In this case, I cut through both the paper and the cardstock at the same time to make sure that they all lined up the way that I wanted them to. But this will give you that nice little V cut and depending on the size of your square, you may wanna adjust it up or down just a little bit, but that's how we did that one is just like that. So then two more ideas for you for mini banners. Actually, let me bring one other back in for a second. This is another way that you can display banners. This one will either clip and hold your single little banner just like that, or you can tie your rope on and then go across. And again, this is just another place card holder or greeting card holder. Just put that into Google and you're gonna find lots of different options depending on style and size. The problem with this one was it doesn't go up and down. If you look at this one, they were actually adjustable, which was really fun. I could raise them up or down, so you can do something like that. Something else that I found many, many years ago, I've had this for over 15 years easily. This is a mini garden flag. And I did do a recent search on Amazon and I did find mini garden flag holders. The word key, the key word is mini. I mean like this is tabletop. This is like not even 12 inches long guys, okay? So it is mini. And what's fun then is you can go ahead and in this case, I had my husband drill some holes into a canvas block that you can get like at the big box store. I got this one, I think at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, one of the two. And then it just sits down inside of that. I've actually also put them down inside of hay bales. You can put them down inside of styrofoam. Um, what's the stuff? The flower foam, the foam that they use for floral arrangements. You can do that as well. And then I just tie the single banner on, which again is another perfect little mini banner for those sideboards. For those of you doing mini vignettes, I have a nice kitchen bar that I like to put them on. Those of you, again, maybe you are the receptionist someplace and you just want something at your desk. And this is the one that I did, again, to coordinate with my personal Christmas decorations. These are new letters that will be debuting and they are raised up on that foam adhesive. And then you can just see our oysters. Let me show you a holiday themed one. And again, you can have lots of fun with these. I did this one because I know some places um, kind of are funny about holidays, whether it's Christmas, whether it's faith-based, what kind of decor you can and can't have. And so I thought that this sweet little bird that I kind of tried to mimic a chickadee or um, kind of more of a winter bird with it and tied it into the trees behind that were cut out of designer paper. I don't know if you can see the sparkle too to make it look like snow. But again, then this one was, and it will just hang and sit really nice. So you've got that little mini desk piece that you can go ahead and then you can change it seasonally. You, whatever season, we've got Valentine's or something else coming up. So lots of possibilities, guys, for different fun little banners, different little ways of adding decor to your home that you have, whether you know, you're just gonna hang candy canes for the kids to eat. I mean, like, I think you could also do like a little pocket on that and tuck candy in there instead of candy canes. I just think the possibilities are endless and I've got a whole bunch more ideas floating in my head. So hopefully this has inspired all of you to consider some kind of either one panel banner or multi-panel, but keeping it small. A lot of times when we think banner, we think of those big banners behind somebody, you know, like at a birthday party where they hang it on the wall or something like that. But with our paper crafting supplies, thinking smaller, thinking, you know, what we could put inside a wreath or something like that. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you at nine o'clock to follow up on the day, guys. Thanks.